Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video on the channel. I'm moving out of my office, that's why it changed up quite a bit, but I'm still recording some of my videos here. So the upcoming videos will be recorded from my van as you have probably seen from one of my latest videos, but I will still be able to record some of them from my studio right here. Today I want to show you a new design app that I just tried out. In the past, if you have been a subscriber for a long time, you will know that I tried out different apps that are design related, but not directly like design apps. Um, and they help you to improve your workflow, to manage your life as a freelancer or a designer, and that just help you to become a better designer overall. So today I'm going to show you Eagle. Eagle is an app that will help you to organize your images and your assets in a much better way. If I'm looking at my folder, my downloads folder, Downloads is basically where I put all my stuff in. You can see there's such a long list and I even cleaned out most of it like one week ago. I, and I'm sure you have the same folders, the same clutter as me. I need an app that will help me to organize my images, exports, assets and so on in a better way. And Eagle is just the right app for that. Eagle is an app that, as I said, will help you to organize your images and if I open it up, you will see that we have a pretty awesome and clean interface right here. And for the start of this video, I want to show you the basic features of it. But if you stay tuned, you will know more of the pro and advanced features that Eagle also has in store. So at the end or at the second half of this video, you will get the more in-depth look at it. So what you can basically do is you can track and drop all of your images into Eagle. For example, I have prepared uh, like an example folder right here. You can select an, uh, a, an image, a photo or whatever and just drag it in here. So it's not categorized, it doesn't have any tags also, but you see that we already have kind of some information of it in here. But we will look at that later. Um, what we can also do is to select multiple photos and drag them in here. It's loading and then adding them into our uh, Eagle app. You see a small stack of images. If I select another one, you will see that all of them are stacking on top of each other and you also see that we have a little gif in here so if i hover it you see the animation of the gif right inside eagle that's awesome you can also track a whole folder in here and then it's collecting your images now of course this is this can end up in a, in a huge clutter again that's why you can create folders in Eagle. But before we move into folders, I would like to show you the browser extension of Eagle because you can also um, move images from a certain website into Eagle itself. That's why I prepared this little uh, nice portfolio right here. <laughs> it's my Tribble uh, portfolio. If you don't follow me, you can do it right here. Tribble.com slash Maximilian. Um, I have a bunch of... Um, posts in here and I can right click them save image to eagle and it's posted in my in my eagle uh, dashboard so that's incredible um, you can not just do that but you can also of course uh, use the little um, uh, add-on icon you can capture a certain area of the website so for example maybe I just want to get the little profile image my profile photo right here uh, I can select the area, correct my selection and then hit save and it's also posting it into the dashboard. Um, you can capture the whole visible space in here, you can also capture the whole page and that's incredible. I mean, I know that there are other apps which are also doing this, but it's awesome to have this um, in this single app and that's quite incredible. So we have our collection right here. By the way, this is a little pixelated because I have my zoom set up quite a bit and it's actually quite small. So don't worry about that. Um, as you already saw right here, you can change the zoom level and what you basically now need to do is to create folders because you want to organize your files, right? Um, create a folder and I'm gonna call this um, 
max because the first folder I want to create is a folder that contains images and uh, images and and like basic stuff about me and I need my photo like the little cutout here my profile picture and my uh, name tag my logo I can drag them in here and now I have them collected so um, in uncategorized we now see all of the images that don't have a certain uh, that don't have a certain folder yet you can even create like subfolder stuff like I could now add a new folder called logo drag it in my max folder and then drag my my max logo into the logo folder so I can create a whole uh, great structure inside these folders now what Eagle is also doing is it is giving you the ability to capture a whole selection like making a normal screenshot and posting it into into Eagle like that download complete you can capture a certain window and of course you need to uh, change the system settings uh, before that I don't know why Mac OS did all of that in the past to and it makes it a little bit harder but basically you just have to enable the setting in here like you also need to do it for slack zoom and so on it's just a normal feature that has to be done and uh, basically then you can save your screenshots in Eagle itself so now let's work with our images of course creating these folders was quite a nice feature actually but we can do more than that for example if I select one of those pictures let me get a better one uh, let me check check out my my uh, face uh, cutout right here you can add tags to it so for example this is called face or max you can add like unlimited tags to it and it's giving you also like some recommendations and so on and basically this is a nice way to filter your uh, images so I'm adding a couple new tags here max prof like max profile or some something like that and now if I go if I'm for example in an all I, I want to search for something and I'm searching for okay I need a profile photo and then I see okay I have a tag called profile in my photo uh, in my image right here um, it's also giving you the link for example if you uh, downloaded it from a certain website you can add notes to it you can also get some more information about the image itself like the dimensions um, the, the file type and about file types I also want to give you a, a bit more insight it's uh, posted on the original website of Eagle these are all of the supported uh, file formats that you can use so you can upload sketch documents Photoshop documents XD um, and I think there are even more documents coming into it or oh, even principle wow that's nice and when it comes to Windows you can also upload all of these documents and I'm sure they are expanding their current range of file formats okay um, let me close these windows so we can focus again on our little app right here let me close all of that so now I want to show you another awesome feature which is called color filter color filter will help you to find similar items based on the color that you selected so if I have one of my images selected right here and I select one of the colors for example this one and I click on filter items I now see that the other photo the other image which is uh, a like screenshot of these two screens right here has a similar color or basically the same color um, as the color that I selected they have to be pretty similar but it's giving you a nice um, the ability to to find like similar photos which is awesome and now I would like to dive into pro features and advanced features because these were just the few basic features that you can do. You can drag in your photos, you can uh, organize them in, in folders, add tags and then like do some color filtering. But there are more features that are available to us. For example, you can hit comment and J and filter or search basically for things like um, folders for uh, tags you see right here you can um, search um, off the tags like boom 
search for a tag and here it is. Comment and J is giving you such a quick but still advanced search. Then we have smart folders. Maybe you have seen it already right here. If you click the little plus icon, you can give it, give your uh, smart folder a certain name. I'm gonna call it app screenshots. And then I can uh, add some of these conditions right here. So the name should contain something. The type could be maybe like a PNG or something like that. And I know that some of my screenshots were saved as PNGs. So that's why I'm sure I can now create a smart folder from PNGs. What you can also do, of course, is to select a certain file size, a certain width, or a node, or whatever. All of these filters can be used for such a smart folder. I am gonna click create, and now I have app screenshots, but of course, I just use the PNG filter and more, um, like more than just this, the app screenshots are saved as PNGs. That's why you can see all of them in here. Um, but for example, now you could maybe like filter for a certain color and this will then give you the correct one that you are searching for. So smart filters are a great way to have automatically created folders for a certain file type, for a certain project or whatever. So now I'm giving you a bit more insight on these images that we have collected. You could hit spacebar to get a quick overview of the image itself. Um, you can then also zoom in right here and it's giving you a few um, uh, hints. Uh, you can zoom in right here, hit spacebar again and it's uh, closing the image. If you double click it, you now get a better impression. You can zoom in again right here. And what I want to show you is you can uh, use the comment mode and now add certain comments in here. For example, I can se uh, select a certain area and then say, okay, the logo needs to be replaced or something like that, okay? You can, of course, also create more than that. For example, okay, the primary call to action should have a different color. So it's pretty incredible to actually add these notes to get some more information and, and to just save your thoughts on a certain part of such an image. Now I want to dive into the whole aspect of filtering and searching files. Um, you can, as I already showed you, filter by a certain color. You can filter by a certain tag right here. You can also filter by any folders you have. You can filter by shapes. And this is a very awesome feature. And for a very long time, I know that I think Unsplash didn't have this feature, but it is so incredible. For example, if I, if I want to look out for a square photo. I see that these photos, these images are saved as square photos. Or if you need a vertical one, maybe you have an iPhone screenshot and you usually will create a like vertical iPhone screenshot, you see that these were created or have a vertical um, aspect ratio. You can also set ratings. You can uh, filter by type of your upload um, and then you can have a couple of more filters in here and that is so awesome. For example, I want to show, I want to, to see, okay, what kind of PNGs I have that has a logo in it. And I just, boom, got here super easily, super fast. You can then clear these filters and get back into your normal view. Another cool thing that you can do is you can right click your folders and set a certain folder color, which can also help you to have a better I don't know, distinction between your folders. And I think the, the colors are quite nice. What you can also do is you can actually change the icon into a certain little clip right here, clip art or whatever. Um, and you can password protect your folder. So I have a, I'm gonna create a password 1234, 1234, numbers one, two, four. <laughs> okay, so of course, Usually you would like to have a better password there, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm gonna just show it to you. You get a little icon right here showing you that it is password protected. Um, and then if you click it, you need to um, add your password, boom, and you can access the folder. Wow, we are already close to 20 minutes of a video right here, but I wanted to show you the Eagle app in depth. So 
you have the basic features that I showed you at the beginning of this video and you have the more advanced features that I showed you right now. You can do even more than what I just showed you in the app and if you would like to see maybe another video about Eagle, if I like use it in my day to day process and if you would like to see me using it, organizing all of my images, assets and exports, give this video a thumb up and I would like to show you an even more pro and advanced way to use it in your day-to-day -day process. But for the purpose of this video showing you like my first impression and also giving you yourself a first impression of it, I think like as I said at the beginning it's an awesome app. It's an awesome app that helps you to organize your images and especially for me it will help me to help me uh, it will help me to organize my sketch exports. You know, you're getting thousands of small exports and graphics and it will be awesome to have a nice folder structure in here and to have not just my finder folder <laughs> of my downloads, um, which will make me like go crazy, you know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see us in the next one. Bye.